as corruption uh, fight continues as the war uh, rages as youths continue uh, with their protests against the uh, corruption uh, more artists have come out to support them uh, Epas is among those who have come out and uh, spoken about corruption and um, he has given his submission during that bitter space and for his view was that uh, Ugandans now are incapable of living in their country and uh, it, uh, due to corruption many girls are seen going outside uh, especially to Arab countries to work as mates uh, due to corruption whereby they are unable to make money here and to survive in their own country so they choose to leave the country to go and work as housemates those who are educated and those who are not it is uh, doesn't matter either you are educated or you are not now in uganda to survive so let's dive into what a pass submitted be like you can make it in uganda that's why so many people are leaving uganda you have so many bakadam why you're having all these things happening is because people don't have hope in making it down here but politicians have hope every single day because every money that comes in that they get all this money that they get foreign funding that should help the many helps the few i pray i pray that a day comes where many of us can stand because the problem we have is that whenever some stand others don't stand and it's really one of the things that really hurts the most the first time we had a match with Bobby Wine were so many people. And the time came for us to actually move and we were like 10, to be honest. We were joined by other people as things were going on who didn't even know what we were up to. But because of our voice and what we came up with, they joined us. I just pray that many of us stand because what we are standing for is a noble cause. It's not something that we are trying to hate on Museveni. Personally, I don't hate the president. I hate his doing. I hate how he runs the state, but I don't hate him as a man. There is no hate in my heart. I don't know. This is what I'm telling you, something you already know. We all know that every money that is coming from outside Uganda to come here and help us, that is actually stolen and all that, it's us that are going to pay it. We, the younger people, these people are going to be dead already. It's going to be us to suffer. And if we don't stand now, before things get worse, we have a problem. And most of these parliamentarians have to be put to book, to be honest, because most of them don't respect their positions. They were put in positions to do good by the people. And what are they doing? Most of them can't even sign a bill so that they go out there and, and see how they can table a topic like a topic like corruption. And some of them can't even sign. Because some of them are part of NRM, and with NRM, I think there is a lot of group thinking, which is really, really bad, where people join a thing and just think as a group. You have to think.